So in this real quick video, we're going to take you through what Task View is, why you want it, what it does, and why it adds value to Windows 10. So as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at this really cool Task View button uh, on the uh, Windows 10 taskbar. Now it allows you to create and add, uh, create and delete virtual desktops, effectively virtual screens, um, and see all the open programs on each screen in a live tile format, as well as giving you a really nice preview of what's on the screen and uh, what's on each program and a rough sizing. Now if you haven't already seen this on uh, Mac with its Expose or the Linux desktop feature, um, then this is basically all of those features for Windows. It's really nice. Um, basically it allows you to have multiple sort of virtual screens or desktops um, which will often probably be used for something like you could have a productivity desktop as well as a media desktop as well as a social media desktop so that for uh, you know you could probably you could have you know your Word and uh, Excel documents open on one and then you could also have you know your Spotify and, and whatever on the other and then maybe Facebook or something on the other so that you can easily switch between them it's really easy to just you know as, as I said switch between them and uh, uh, you know, it's almost uh, a, sort of a productivity aid. You don't have to sort of mess around with finding things uh, in you know layers and layers of windows of lots of things open. You can just switch between desktops with two clicks really easily. Now, one thing I did notice is that when you Alt Tab, even if you have multiple desktops, all the programs that you have open are still available. You get, still get that nice live tile um, little sort of icon where you can see what's happening and roughly the uh, size of that um, program as well. And it's really nice. Uh, and it, it basically just takes you to what whatever desktop you're on. Now one thing I did notice was that when you uh, uh, you know, add a desktop, there's no programs on uh, by default there, but when you close the desktop, all the programs that were on that desktop, so as you can see here, I've got four programs open on this one, and I'm going to close it, and it, uh, as you can see, all, they all consolidate into the first desktop, which is really nice. Obviously you can go and add a desktop again, but one thing I haven't found out is how to move programs from desktop to desktop. Um, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, and the final thing I did notice is that when you have uh, you know stuff on another desktop, you can see down the bottom there's a tiny little indicator that says uh, basically indicates whether or not uh, you have a program open, um, which is really cool. Uh, and uh, if you hover over, you can see how many windows of that program I have open as well. Anyway, uh, I'm not too sure about some of the things here, but obviously we will keep you up to date in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks, and we'll see you all in the next video. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video, you've probably seen enough of me already so I'm going to go away right after I say if you haven't already liked or disliked just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos, hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out um, and yeah obviously shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it from me so we'll see you all in the next video.